26 of the counties of Ireland broke away from Great Britain and formed an independent state. We in the north of Ireland, with a population of one and a half million people, decided by an overwhelming majority at a great national general election that we would remain within the United Kingdom. We made that decision as a people quite freely and for very definite reasons, reasons that are historical, reasons that are cultural, and reasons that are economic. These pictures were taken in Fintana County Tyrone, not in order to arouse national or social hatreds, but in order to expose part of a system of discrimination imposed with the connivance of the British government. It is imposed in order to maintain partition against the wishes of the majority of the Irish people. Mr. Campbell of Mill Street and some of his children, eight people live here. Mrs. Mullen of Mill Street has eight children all living here. Big families and little houses are normal in these back streets of Fintana. Two thirds of the people of this little town are nationalists. That is to say, they are in favor of unity with the rest of Ireland and against being treated as part of Britain. Here at Craigavon Park, not one house went to a nationalist. Craigavon Park is unionist and unionist it must stay. Only an informed public opinion can destroy the structure of injustice which here in Fintana and throughout the partition territory sustains the unnatural division of Ireland. When it comes to electing the local council of Londonderry, the council that runs the affairs of the city, we have a rather odd situation. The total unionist vote in Londonderry is 9,000. The law can never scorn. The and these votes put a total of 12 members in the city council. The total nationalist vote is 14,000. And these votes put in eight members. I would stress that these figures have been rounded off but are substantially accurate. I note the curious situation. Most of the voters in Londonderry are nationalist, but the council is controlled by the unions. Why do you think you've not been lucky on the housing list so far? Because we're Catholics. Don't give the boys the jobs because they're Catholics. You're not give very many Protestants. We've seen in this town idle. That's all the Catholic boys is idle, not the Protestant boys. We shall overcome Free the people Let them have their say Free the people Let them see the light of day Comforting her children softly crying in the night she tries very hard to explain You know your daddy never did a thing that was The Ulster right. police do a very good job in extremely difficult circumstances He is a good man And he shall What does it profit him, the right to be born, if he suffers the loss of liberty? Laws were made for people, and the law can never scorn the right of a man to be free. We are the people, and we shall overcome. We are the people. Ulster Unionists, fearful of being isolated on the island, built a solid house, but it was a cold house for Catholics. <laughs>